Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Tuesday. Second trading day of Feb. It's the second of Feb. This chart's on everybody's frontal lobe. I don't know, call it a classic head and shoulders here in Euro uh, 120 50. Through 120, the figure, there's going to be a cascade of stops. I don't know if this is going to be the beginning of it. Um, might be. Keep an eye on this level. It's pretty important. Yields are lower. That's not helping. Equities also higher. Uh, not helping. Crude on the 54 handle. What the fuck is that? Uh, but it is what it is. So conditions aren't perfect. Dollar Swiss uh, through 25 worked yesterday. That stayed bid. That's at the highs. That's interesting. And the rest of the dollar complex is also relatively bid. Dollar yen here uh, lingering at yesterday's highs as well. Uh, we traded up to 03 yesterday. Um, where's the clear air moment in uh, dollar yen? It's like, a, I guess it's like all of FX. It's like a low vol grind type of a trade. I remember I was laughing at the guys at Forex.com or some Twitter handle about whether Dollar Yen's going to break out. It kind of did, right? I said, no, are you on drugs? Or are you drunk? Or... It kind of broke out through 104.50. Okay, we're only 51 points higher um, after three days, but um, God bless them. Point is, is uh, when you laugh at someone about something... Um, it's usually time to probably pause and think twice about it. Anyway, not no sermons today. Um, dollars are no idea what's happening here. It's push and pull, right? It's risk on this push, which normally pushes dollars are down. It's it's dollar strength uh, and basically just normal macro statistics from South Africa, which are which is a horror show, uh, which usually pushes dollars are up. Not sure. Dollar max, same thing. Not sure. Looks like risk on is dominating the theme there. Aussie, on the other hand, doesn't look too good. Uh, traded down to 11. Here we are at 16. The interesting point um, from last week is that uh, 92 low, 91.9 here on the heroic trading view system. Euro Aussie, I don't really know. Aussie Yen, don't really have a good feel for. Um, push and pull. Kiwi, kind of bid. Interesting few lows here, I guess. Bing, bing, bing. 71.50. 71.50. Um, just on the short term chart, just a cluster of lows there, I guess it's important to point out. Dollar China. Hmm. Gung Fao Kao Choi. My children tell me that means I have a bad, bad burn on my arm. I always thought it meant Happy New Year. I don't even know. Uh, we lived out in Asia for a few years. Didn't really pick up uh, much Chinese. The language, that is. Um... I don't know what to do with this. I think you really just have to wait. It looks offered until you get through one six fifty one. So nothing to do on this today. Gold is confused. Um, obviously being dragged around by the Wall Street bets, silver people. So we were bid yesterday. We're coming back a little bit offered today. Uh, not sure. Es rang the bell up at thirty seven ninety two. Um, if you like apples. That's that's quite a move. That's a hundred and hundred and forty hundred and forty handles there, basically twenty four hours. Thirty six fifty six, thirty seven ninety two. Um This is bearish engulfing this hour if we close below eighty two. I'm just looking at the live live price feed one sec. What do we got here? Uh Eight minutes to go. We're at 85. 
and three quarters. So we'll see. Might bearish in golf here. Um, but shit's bid, right? I mean, that's a fucking bullish day yesterday. Bang. Um, are we now going to make some sort of right shoulder here and then everything like the dollar Swiss head and shoulders, the euro dollar head and shoulders, the big dollar czar head and shoulders, 38 is your neckline. Bing. Um, I don't know. Bitcoin, middle of nowhere. Silver, uh, down a bit. That was an extraordinary move yesterday. I don't trade much silver. Um, I have, you know, put on 10, 20,000 ounces, um, which in, in the institutional world is not really too much. Uh, a few times, different wearing different hats uh, in my life. But it's rare you see a five buck move in silver. Um, and the move, I mean, I guess it was only three bucks yesterday, but 10% yesterday, but five bucks from the S WSB uh, call. It's just uh, splendid. God bless those guys. Hope it works out. I doubt it will, but I hope it does. Um, crude, it's making a new high here. Uh, this is quite surprising. But that was a big bullish engulfer yesterday. A lot of good vaccine news out there. I'm certainly very, very positive on the economy globally opening on in mid-March, early April. It's just me, the numbers and the vaccines, the vaccinations and the number of old people who are at risk people who will be vaccinated um, should be super high. So um, I'm super positive. Maybe that's why oil is doing this. The big problem with oil is I think transportation and just fossil fuel consumption in general is going to change. It's not going to snap back to like... Let's all commute a ton. Let's all fly a ton. The Zoom culture, I don't know if it's here to stay, but it's certainly not going to just go away. Um, there are plenty of people who love working from home and doing Zoom calls. and Plenty of people who hate it also, but it's not going away. Anyway, crude's up here. I don't understand it. I'll be looking for ways to sell and get short crude. Um, I don't know. What's the uh, average true range or standard deviation today? What do you think? Let's go over to our trusty mathematics portal. Um, send in the clowns. Ooh, 5485. Man, good vol and crude these days. Um, do you want to fade this thing? The stretch highs are going to be up between 70 and 55 bucks. Big picture. What, is this? what does this mean? What's that high there? 54.76. That's probably your sell point. 54.76 if you want to sell today. Anyway, I've said enough. There's not much to say. The only thing we're really looking at is this Euro chart. So um, you want to look at the other stuff. That's good. Uh, but uh, Euro looks like it's flying just a little bit too close to the sun here. Uh, European Open, they banged the drum here at 55. Kind of looks like it. Anyway, I'm shutting up now. Good luck, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.